So this is the white stone band that you saw. It's in a not in a characteristic shell like you get at Kimmage, but these are from the coppice limestone bands we get sort of um, east of Kimmage Bay. And they're quite interesting because the contrast between the bone and the matrix is really, really good. So when this was found, it was found in this section to the right was found four years prior to finding this, okay? And when I found this, you could see in this laminated limestone, you could just see a cross section of all the bones lying there. When I, when I prepped it, I realized how brilliant preserved it was, okay? Because the flipper is beautifully preserved. All these little belly ribs, you can see like little tuning forks there, and the ribs lying along there. And so the hunt was on to actually try and find the rest of it, because this had fallen from the cliff many years ago. I never found it, and then on about the fourth year of going through a sort of period of not finding a lot, I then saw another line of bones um, on a huge great block of limestone right at the bottom. So I had to actually delaminate the limestone. So there was split big large chunk chunks off, which you can split off and leave it up and slide the pebbles in there because it's so heavy to remove it and just roll with these slabs off and then splitting another there and then carrying on to do that till I got to the bottom. And interestingly. It came out okay in two chunks, the, this main chunk of the skull. And you couldn't see any of this, by the way, because the matrix is about that thick. And there's another slab there. So what I did was actually pop them in my rucksack and separate them with a jumper of mine. When I got back home, because it was extremely heavy, after I recovered, I actually realised that the jumper was missing and one of the slabs was missing as well. So it was on a Sunday, so I had a day off on the Monday, should have gone to work, but I didn't. Went back on first to get down the sort of beach. Jumper had washed away, and right where I picked the rucksack up, this slab was lying there. Also, at the time when I got it back, I realised that on this end here was a chunk of bone missing, so I had to sort through all the matrix, all the chunks of rock that I'd split up, to try and find this missing bit. When I found it, you can see that worn end, I realised I had the, the rostrum of it, so I knew I had to scale. So this was all sort of cleaned up, put back, but interestingly, what it shows is actually a species of ichthyosaur, which is different to the other ones we get because when you look at the teeth they're extremely small sharp and very fine there's no linear lines up the tooth crown they're dead smooth which we've not normally seen in ichthyosaurs it's got quite a big eye and so looking at it as an overall sort of thing it must have been a specialist feeder because the teeth aren't robust enough to feed on hard scale prey like some of the fish that we get the gallery fish so thinking about it you know what other prey would it be going on well Okay, so I've got a big eye taking low light, but when you other food sources where you get squid, of course, squid during the day go down deep and then up at night they come up to feed. Well, if you're a predator, you can actually dive down, follow these things down in the depths, in those dark, gloomy depths with a big eye, you can take in the low light and actually still prey on the material down there. So that's an interesting feature. So it's completely new to science, and then along the tops of the neural arches, that, that's, the, that's the series of bones that run atop the top of the vertebrae there you see there's some stringy looking material and the sun actually runs through the vertebral um, column as well and that's some form of sort of cartilage the residue of that is still still present and again that's not been noted in these reptiles before that's something completely new that we'll be work, working on at some later stage and you can see under the ridge all that black mass now that's just the residue of some of the skin tissue as well okay so that's a completely new ichthyosaur, not yet been described, but pretty exciting animal.